Welcome to Learn Electrics and part one of our series on the 18th edition of the wiring regulations. If you are studying for the 18th edition exam, then this video series will help. It is presented in the same style that I taught in the classrooms and my students then had the 98% pass rate with personal exam marks above 80% for many. If you want a refresher or just want to learn how to use the regulations, then these are the videos for you. Each video will be a short, sharp 10 minutes on one particular topic. So let's begin. If you are studying for the 18th edition exam, buy the book. I know the book is expensive, but it's even more expensive to keep resitting the exam. You cannot study without the book. It's like learning to drive without the highway code and without a car. And when you do buy the book, do not write in it. If you use the book in the exam, it must have no writing in it, no notes, no formulas, no memory joggers. A big mistake a lot of people make is trying to memorise the book. You simply cannot remember 600 pages of words flawlessly. It is far better to learn how to use the book properly. The exam is not about what you can remember. It is all about can you find the information in the book. So often in exams we see people flipping through the book like this just hoping that the correct answer will suddenly pop out of the pages for them. Stop. Don't do it. There's a better way. A way that almost guarantees a pass and we will show you over the next few videos. The key to using the book lies in understanding just four sets of pages. If you can use these four sets of pages, you've cracked it, honestly. The first is the contents page on page three. Everyone skips past this, but it really is the most important of the pages, as we will discover. At the back of the book, page 525, is the index. It is not the easiest index to use, but we show you how to crack it and how to get the most out of it. Then there are two little sections that many people ignore completely, yet these are absolute gold dust. Know these and most of your problems go away. The first is the table of tables. Remember that this is just before the index and it's on page 522. Please make sure you remember page 522. You are going to use it a lot and this is going to save you a lot of time in the exam. And just in front of that on page 518 is the table of figures. Equally as important as we will find out very soon. Whilst we're on this page, look along the right edge of the page. There are random black lines and these lines are found throughout the book. A black line like this indicates that this little section has changed since the last edition or amendment of the regulations. It might be something added. It might be something deleted. It might be a spelling correction. Who knows? but it is something different. Let's use an example to show you how useful the table of figures is. Suppose the exam question asks, what is the maximum arms reach in the overhead direction? There are two or three paragraphs of writing for this, but we also know in our memory that there is a drawing, a figure for this, but where is it? Well, let's start by looking in the table of figures. That makes sense. And here we find figure 417, arms reach, and it tells us it's on page 76. Find page 76, and there is the figure, and top left of the drawings is our overhead height, 2.5 metres. There is the answer to your question. But let's find the actual words. You need to know that wherever there is a drawing, there will always be accompanying words. So go back one page to page 75 and there at the bottom of the page is regulation 417.3.2 and it says in the overhead direction arms reach is 2.5 metres. It works every time. How easy is that? Another thing that you must get to grips with is the BS7671 numbering system. 
The index does not use page numbers. It uses its own special system. And if you understand this, then you will quickly and accurately find the information that you need. The book is divided into parts. And here we are showing part four. Each part is divided into chapters and we have chosen chapter one here. And then each chapter is divided into sections. Here, section three. Finally, there follows the regulations and sub-regulations and even sub-sub-regulations. Displayed here is 413.3.4, which tells us part four, chapter one, section three, Regulation 3, Sub-Regulation 4. Learn to find the regulations in the book. Find this one as a test. It is on page 71 of my book. That's enough for this video. The secret to being good at this is to take small chunks of information and practice using it. The more you practice now, before the next video, the better you will be. It's like driving a car. How many times did you reverse around a corner before your test? Go to the contents page, page three, and make yourself familiar with the page. Make a mental note of the part numbers and the part names. And what about the chapters that are listed in each part? Learn to make the contents on page three your first port of call when seeking information. The same with the index on page 525. Familiarity is important. Practice finding regulations in the index and looking for them in the book. For example, look up bends in wiring systems and find it. At this stage, you don't need to know what it says, just how to find it. And then have a practice with electromagnetic effects in cables. The same thing, find it in the index, find it in the book. Use the table of figures and the table of tables. Look at the different figures and the tables that are listed. Go to the pages in the book. Believe me, knowing where the figures and tables are will really help you to find the correct regulations and answers very quickly. In the next 18th edition video, we will look at what the various parts and chapters mean and how to quickly and easily find the information that you need in the book. And we will look at answering the exam question. What is the question actually asking? The question will always contain enough information to get you within two or three pages of the answer. The secret is to understand how to get this information. We will show you. Well, that's it. We hope that you found this video from Learn the Electrics both useful and enjoyable and that you have learned a little more on how to use and understand the wiring regulations. By clicking on subscribe below, you will have access to all of our Tech Tips videos and you'll also ensure that you don't miss our next video. Clicking on subscribe also helps us and we do appreciate that small act. It does make us feel that our efforts are all worthwhile. Typing in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar will also give you access to all the videos. And we also have Tech Tips articles on our website which can be found at www.learnelectrics.com. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.